back to my channel so for today's tutorial I'm gonna be doing this makeup look right here I am so excited to film this video especially because I'm using the vanity planet brushes this brush set is a hundred dollars but with my discount code you could get them for thirty dollars which is seventy percent off and definitely check these out I will have everything on my description bar discount codes the link on where you can get them usually when I see or hear brush companies I usually don't get it as excited anymore because I just love my Morphe brushes I love my makeup edition brushes and I absolutely love my BH cosmetic brushes so pretty much affordable brushes I'm just so loyal to my brushes but when I saw these I was like hold up $30 for a brush set sign me up Seriously, <laughs> usually brush sets like this range about $100, even to $200, which I think it's insane. But like I said, with my code, you can get them for $30. I love these brushes so much. They're super soft, they're easy to use, and they're 15 brushes, again. <laughs> so I really, really like them. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you guys want more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys. So I haven't prepped my skin yet. So for that, I'm gonna be using the Pixi Skin Eats Hydrating Milk Serum. It's this one right here. I've been loving this serum to apply before my makeup because it's just so hydrating. I feel like it makes my makeup stay really, really good. I put a lot on my cheeks, but rubbing this all over my face. And yes, my next video is probably going to be my skincare routine. Finally, I know, right? I can't wait for you guys to see. I have something really cute planned out, you know? This is not my first time using this primer, but I have used this primer before a really, really long time. I can't remember when was the last time I used it, probably a year ago. But um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. really um, press this in my under eye because I feel like my under eyes are just super dry and so I do have a little bit of texture like right here mostly where I apply my contour so I'm gonna be using the Smashbox photo Fo photo finish foundation primer and it's this one right here where I have texture so it can smooth out my skin find it where I want my skin to be a little bit more smooth Okay, so now I'm just gonna do um, my foundation. So the brushes that I'm gonna be using are from a Vanity Planet. I'm so excited to try these brushes because there are 15 different brushes in here and they are cruelty free. It comes with a brush holder, which is amazing. So this is it right here. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with these brushes and I'm just so excited. I'm gonna be using this Hourglass Stick Foundation in Golden Tan. And let me tell you, this foundation is so full coverage. I'm obsessed with it already. Um, I'm just going to do like stripes and I love the range of colors for this foundation. Literally anybody can have this foundation because of how amazing their um, range of shades, how, much, how many they are. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm just going to be blending it with this Kabuki brush. All the brushes are in a little paper which is very very helpful. So this is the flat top dippling brush. This comes to apply a light powder or cream product. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, Vanity Planet. I'm really liking how, how this brush is blending actually. This is my first time using these brushes, but how soft they feel, it feels really, really good, you guys. And the brushes are very flexible, which is good. So this foundation is really full coverage, like I said, and applying it with this brush made it so much easier. So now I'm just going to be adding my concealer, and for today's concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. This concealer is so full coverage. To blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. It's not too wet and it's not too dry, you know? But 
The shade of this concealer is my perfect shade to conceal with. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And this is in a shade Light Warm. I'm going to add two, actually three stripes. And then also my forehead and the ridge of my nose and on my cupid as well. And again, blending it with my Beauty Blender. You guys, I got this really cute um, mirror in downtown LA. It's so pretty. Look, it also sits on the table like that, which is cool. To cream contour, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild uh, Makeup Stick Contour, and this is in the shade Call Me Maple. And I'm also going to contour my nose with it. And I'm going to be using the same foundation brush that I blended my foundation out because it's flexible and I like it when I blend my concealer with flexible brushes. And I'm going to blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. And to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Translucent Light Powder. And for that, I'm going to be using this flat brush. So I'm going to grab a generous amount. Oh no, I'm just going to set everything in place. And to set my whole entire face, I'm going to be using this MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC42. And I'm going to be setting it with this Kabuki brush. These brushes are so soft, you guys. So now I'm just going to be bronzing up my face with this BH Cosmetics Set in Bronzer in Tropical Tan. You guys know this is my favorite bronzer ever. And I'm going to be using this brush right here. This is the Powder Blush Brush. Wow, this blends my bronzer so nicely. So now I'm going to be contouring my face with my Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm going to be using Show Play with this angled contouring brush. And now I'm going to be applying blush and I'm just going to be using the same contour angle brush. And using my Milani Faked Blush and Luminoso. This thing is so good to prime your eyebrows with. This is the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. I actually, if it's like too much product, I put it on the back of my hand. Okay, so I did my this eyebrow off camera just because, you know, I don't want it to be like a freaking 45 minute video. I think I'm going to start doing that and show you guys how I actually like do my eyebrows because I feel like a lot of you guys want to know. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Goof Proof brow pencil and I'm just gonna like sculpt my eyebrows out with this because I really do love um, sculpting out my eyebrows with the Benefit Goof Proof and Then I'm going to go in with the um, Vanity Planet Angle Brush and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Sculpting Brow Palette in number two. This is more for like brunettes, dark brunettes like me. All I'm going to do is just fill in my eyebrow with the angle brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to be sculpting my eyebrows with this amazing um, flat brush. This is, I'm reading it off here because it doesn't have any numbers, but I'm reading it off the paper. This is the Crease Shader Brush. I'm just going to sculpt my eyebrows with this, and oh my god, it's the most 
like precisest concealer brush ever. By the way, do you guys like my new background? I got it in downtown LA and it's like the best place to get your background. So for today's look, I'm gonna be using the Violet Boss and Laura Lee collaboration. This is the eyeshadow palette right here and the packaging is just so bomb. It matches my background actually, look. So I did this eye off camera because I just want it to be like really quick. This is what I came up with. First, I took Britches and Rega Muffin with this Makeup Addiction Diffused Blender. I'm just gonna blend this as my transition color. So now I'm gonna be taking Alabama, and this is such a beautiful, like orangey plummy shade. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so unique. I've never used anything like this. Um, and I'm just gonna put this on my outer V. If, and I'm sorry if you guys hear like people talking in the background. That's my whole entire family. And literally, sometimes I just can't film because it's so loud <laughs> in my house, but it's okay. Loud house, happy house, you know? And if I forget to mention any name of the brushes or the number, I will have everything on my description bar. You guys know that. I have everything in order. So you guys don't have to worry about that. You guys can easily just go on my description bar and see everything down there. This color is just so beautiful. I can't. And I'm going to be grabbing this brush right here. It's a little bit more dense. And I'm going to be grabbing whiskers. I'm just going to take this on my outer V also. And now I'm just going to blend a little bit more with the MAC 242 brush. And now taking bubs and also using the MAC 242 brush and just focusing this shade on my outer V. And you guys know what lashes I'm wearing. I'm currently obsessing over these. These are the blush lashes and sparkles and they're just so pretty and fluttery i also have a discount code with them so if you guys want to use it you guys are welcome to of course you guys are not forced to use my codes ever so now with this flat shader brush right here i'm going to be taking basic and then i'm just going to be applying this all over the lid so now I'm just going to be grabbing a flat shader brush and using Sugar. And the highlighter that I'm going to be using today is this one right here. I raved about it on my Snapchat and I got so many screenshots on it because it's literally the best. And it's only $7 and um, it's in downtown LA. I will probably like announce it more throughout my Snapchat stories. But um, I'm just going to be grabbing that shade and putting it under my brow just to give it a little pop. So now I'm just going to be taking Ruga Muffin and... So now I'm just going to be grabbing whiskers and bugs and grabbing the little tiny brush that comes in the brush holder and then I'm just going to... And now with this Morphe M507 brush, I'm just going to be blending the whole... So now that we're done with that, I'm going to do my inner corner, the last touch. I'm going to be grabbing sugar again with a little more smaller brush, also from Vanity Planet. And it's honestly the most littlest brush ever. So now that we're done with our eyeshadow, I'm going to be grabbing the lashes right here. These are Sparkle and they're also from Blush Lashes, my favorite lash company ever. I absolutely love them. Now I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes with this Lava Lash Lash Curler. You guys, I touched the palette and look, it got on my fingers. It looks bomb. So now I'm just going to be applying some of this Benefit They Are Real Mascara. For my eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs Highliner. I'm just going to apply this only on the top of my lash line because bottom lash, we're going to use a different one. So now for my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the also a Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to be using Pink of Me. And I'm going to be using the same They Are Real Mascara and applying this on my lower lash line. 
And now for cream highlighting, I'm going to be using this Maybelline New Master Strobing Stick. This is in medium nude glow. And I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender and applying it with this. And now I'm going to be taking this fan brush, also from Vanity, and I'm going to be applying some of this highlighter, applying You Glow Girl highlighter. And this is in the shade Twilight. It looks wet, you guys. And I'm going to be taking my ring finger and just applying this on the tip of my nose. And now for my lips, I'm going to be using this MAC Morning Coffee Lip Pencil. This is such a beautiful lip pencil. I think it's going to replace my stripped down lip liner. No, just kidding. And now I'm going to be taking Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Paint. I think it's a cream. It doesn't dry completely matte. This is in the shade Fawn Over Me. Actually, I am going to be adding hot cocoa because this looks a little too light. I'm just going to be adding it on the bottom of my lip. Hey guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.